two bricks, paint on, got my gloves on to get some eye protection on. And before I continue, I'll just get some stuff on this. Okay, so what I've got here is some Esky Graphisol Gel Gravita Remover. Now this I don't think is available. Reason being, I've had this tin for about seven years, probably eight years. So if you look there on the base of the tin, you can just see the expiry date. Is that the right way up? No, I'm not picking that up, maybe there. October 2012. So this may not be available. Unfortunately for me, it's still got gas in, still working. On this side, got some car body spray. And on this side, I've just got some barbecue spray. High heat resistance, see? So I'll leave this to work for a small amount of time, two or three minutes, got a small brush. Whenever you're doing anything like this, you want to test a small area first. And slowly, I'm just going to work this in. Now this gel is a slow acting gel paint remover it's not too harsh so it's ideal for delicate surfaces well, both working up well With it being slow acting, like I say, ideal for delicate surfaces, for just targeted areas. And whether it be unwanted graffiti or offensive graffiti, because again, not necessarily all graffiti is bad, but when it becomes unwanted or offensive, then it needs to come off. Hopefully when something like this happens, it's going to be found within 24 hours, it may happen over a weekend. But the quicker you get to it, the better. I'm sure that there will be other products which have the same makeup as what I'm using here. Again, something like this, ordinary brickwork, you could just use um, a paint stripper, nitromores. Okay, so that's had plenty of time. I'm fairly confident that that's removed it. that in a bucket of water and now it's got a worn brush just wet that in
now, just with a cloth. That's brickwork, painted woodwork, where you want to be able to remove this with minimal damage to the existing surface. So, again, put my gloves on. Eye protection. I'm just going to push it generally over that, leave it for a small amount of time. I don't want to scratch at it too much, make sure that's got all those splash and spray, over spray. Okay, not necessarily leaving this too long. Now, this is a glossy surface. So we need a dry cloth, clean, soft, dry cloth. Wipe at that. Another cloth into the water. Just a good wipe down. Rinse. That's okay. So I'll let that dry and we'll take a look at it. If this was freshly painted and say for instance it had only had a few hours to cure and then maybe someone vandalised it then it may be more difficult to remove it. You may soften this surface but with it being slow acting you can apply it to the paint that you want to remove and just work with it quickly don't allow it too much time that way you may get away with uh, just removing the paint and not having to repaint the surface again if it was your pride and joy parked on the driveway and you came out and spray paint on it test a small area in the engine bay or spur wheel well somewhere like that underneath some carpet anywhere where there's the paintwork test an area work it in with a soft cloth leave it for a few minutes keep working it in wash it off wipe it and see if it's changed the surface but with something like that on a vehicle you should be able to get away with doing it um, if it's had a good layer of wax the wax may resist that spray paint 
bonding to your paintwork on the vehicle. So may that 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 um, wax could resist that spray paint that goes on. It may eat through to the paintwork, but fingers crossed it shouldn't. But that's that's good. That that's worked well. I well, like I say, I don't think this is available anymore. I have done a couple of searches on the internet trying to find it, but I can't seem to find it. I can find other products, but not this. But I am sure that there will be something very similar to this out there. It works really well, especially on a painted surface.